The Exiles clash, London Irish, half a dozen changes from that match. Their first outing at the Stoop, Alex Gray, though, is back there, player of the evening and captain now this evening. He's got the likes of Jonathan Joseph and Tom Homer, Marlon Yarda, a real gas man. It was always going to be a difficult task behind the eight ball in terms of the preparation for the Premiership. So they've made seven changes, but some hired hands brought in seven aficionados. We'll know the likes of Chris Banfield, Patheli Nathamavutu, the Fijian number eight, Ashley Smith, the only bona fide London Welsh player out there, the captain wearing 11, Steve Wood, Steve Hamilton, they've all been around the seven sphere. His feet are absolutely outstanding. They he are dances dancing, his way through teams. But the presentation doesn't help them, and Ashley Smith looking for the offload and finding it, and it's going to be Tom Rees. Well, kind of right that a Welshman scores for London Welsh, albeit he may not be in their 15s ranks, but that's a good start. And he's thrown back rather hastily, Randall Ahafe, the Namibian international scrum half, doing now. well to keep the ball moving. On his feet on the middle. Oh, Gerard Ellis just steps over and says, I want that ball, and Tom Homer says, I want that try, and nobody is going to stop Homer recording the first try for London Irish on this finals evening. De La Harpe, no push. setting the ball back. I was going to say the exiles being threatened, but of course they're both exiles. So Roll, it's now, London hands. Irish playing in varsity colours really this evening. Penalty. Penalty is there for the Welsh if they need it. But I'm just going to check upstairs to see whether Ashley Smith grounded that one. Yeah, London Irish should be kill it, kicking themselves here because they're, 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 they're playing so well when they've got the ball and then they're just making silly basic mistakes. Touch, pause, engage. Well, it's an interesting substitution when you see Jamie Gibson put on for a winger in Conor Gaston, but maybe it's going to pay off there with a try for Darren Allenson. Well, opportunistic snipe from the scrum half. And that was what London Irish needed, but it was a London Welsh mistake to La Harpe, unable to get the ball out. And Darren Allenson, well, that's quality scrum half work from the Welshman. Mavuta, again the conduit for the attacks and again setting the ball on the table for his captain Ashley Smith well how important is that touchdown in the bigger scheme of things you under with under three minutes to go I mean I think we need to applaud the offload and, and the fancy footwork here Nathan Mavuta something we've come to associate very frequently and often and, uh, with, with Fijian rugby, uh, their ability to beat a man one-on-one, -on -one, look for that offload. Of his knee! Hamish Smiles unable to pick up an awkward pass. Pulls off a tremendous somersault, though, as he gets forward. 5.5 for the somersault, but no points for the pass. As Nathan Mavutu throws, hopefully, out to his captain. Really, really good patience from this London Welsh side. They're not panicking, they're not trying to force scores. Great show and go, great show and go. Fabulous try. That is what Sevens Rope is all about, being patient, stretching your opposition, looking for weaknesses, and maybe not the afters, just after, but apart from that, brilliant play. now onto the park has the hand off and is going to open the door for a try <laughs> London Welsh winning 29-17 as 
in that first match at the Twickenham Stoop. London Irish don't know how to bounce back. It's not all over by any stretch of the imagination, but London Welsh carrying on their 100% form from Edgeley Park.